guys, um, so I'm now going into my eighth week being here in Granada, and so this video I want to talk about the language barriers. Um, so, <clears throat> being here in Granada, you know, obviously they speak Spanish, there's been a lot of different types of slangs and things that I've gotten had to get used to being here. Um, just like in the States, in each city, in each um, state has different ways of saying certain things. It's the same way here in Granada, and those definitely some things that I had to get used to and took some time to understand. Um, for example, here they don't need to necessarily pronounce D's in all the words, so instead of saying Granada, they'll say Grana. So I think that was a very interesting thing that I had to get over and learn. Um, but another thing, um, I guess is funny situation for me, I think is, you know, being here, I've definitely, my comprehension for the language has improved exponentially since I've gotten here for, and been here for two months. And it's been such a weird experience thinking of how easy, how much better I can comprehend the language. Of course, speaking is a lot harder and a lot more difficult, but I'm definitely improved in that as well. Um, but I think the funniest thing, I guess, that I do here when I don't really understand and don't understand everything perfectly, um, it's more of my little go-to being like, oh, saying vale, vale, c, 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 so just saying yes, yes, okay, okay. Um, that's kind of my cop out when I don't necessarily understand everything and I've asked a couple of times for my host mom to repeat it, so sometimes I'm still in the dark. Um, but being in another country and sitting abroad in a country where English isn't necessarily spoken or is this first language, it's definitely a challenge and it's very hard and something to get used to. But I think that it's honestly, if you have the opportunity to, um, definitely go to another country that where they speak a different language. Um, it is such a rewarding experience just seeing being here in two months and seeing how much my knowledge for the Spanish language has improved so much and also it makes me feel more at home knowing certain dialects and certain words and things that they only do here in Granada and it's definitely a rewarding experience and you know the biggest advice I think I have to give is to be patient. Um, learning another language isn't easy at all by any means but definitely being patient taking everything one step at a time you will see yourself improve with the language exponentially and just again me being here in two months I've learned so much about the Spanish language more than I ever have learning the language in the states because I've been fully immersed in the culture and fully immersed with the language so I think that that is probably my best advice and I can't wait to see what the next two months have for me and how much of the language I'll learn even more at the end of my semester all right Bye.